So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I go from this and turn it into this. So stay tuned. Here is my new boat trailer, upgrading to a wider trailer. And I'm gonna show you the process as I get this cleaned up and looking good. So sorry for the lack of updates on this. Uh, still real early on, I got this all sprayed off now and painted, all paints redone. For the most part got it all cleaned up looking and right now what i'm working on is cutting pieces of traction pad and putting these down on the steps so that way i got a nice grip surface i don't have to worry about slipping on the steps i got that there i've got that one there so far and then there's going to be one across the top here too and that'll help cover up some of the rust spots that were on that fender but as we go around here you can get a better look at the rest of the trailer now that i got it painted these bunks will be coming off right now i'm leaving them on there for the brackets and i already checked it up with my boat as well so we'll get that uh the, the brackets actually sit perfect uh they'll be set up slightly different than the old trailer but uh, I'll be able to make these work. It is going to switch to two by fours, though. Here's what it looked like before the traction pad as well. And then I've already placed this roller. The roller itself is going to get replaced. And then I'm going to put in at least one roller ahead of here to keep it from hitting the beam. And then I got the uh, new side bunks that are going to go here as well. I got new plywood for the fenders so I can get the carpeted plywood put in. And then I got the new rims on the way as well. Now right, here's a look at it post grip mats of course just spray it off and it'll clean a lot of that dirt off but I got grip mats across all of that got grip mat across all of this that way I don't have to worry about uh, trying to step up here and it's slippery or anything uh, I still got a couple little bubbles that I'll have to work out but uh, edges are all cut semi good then we also went ahead and got the spare tire mount and the jack hooked up. And I went with a double wheel setup because it's a larger trailer just to make it easier to move it around. Went ahead and got the winch base mounted on the winch post. So that is all set to go. Thing's starting to look more like a boat trailer now. Here's a look at the tail lights I'm going with. Uh, of course, the license plate bracket. There's a gasket for behind the tail light. Uh, this is a look at the tail light. Uh, the running lights run through the middle, and the brake lights. Uh, of course, the bigger bulbs there. Uh, these mount up real easy. I already went ahead and drilled the holes to mount it up. Uh, so I've already got it measured off and we're going to go ahead and get these installed. Here's a look with the new tail lights mounted up. Just need to get a few more lights mounted and then we'll start doing the wiring. So I noticed some slop in my uh, hub here. So I went ahead and dismantled it. I'm getting ready to get the measurements. 
uh, so I can order new hubs and uh, we'll get those installed. Uh, I'm gonna get ones that already have the uh, studs mounted in them, so I'm not using the uh, bolts. Uh, and it'll make it easier to actually mount the tire up on there, just like I did on the other trailer. Got the hub kit in, two brand new hubs, the bearings, the seals, caps, uh, the pins, new castle nut, all of it. Uh, this one has, you can see a race right here, you can see a race right here. The old hubs on there, they had a race on the outside, but for some reason they had, it was almost like a, uh, uh, a floating bearing, some kind of plastic thing that was in there, but it still caused a wobble, uh, which I don't like, so I'm gonna get these set up with ones with bearings on both sides. First off, I gotta get the uh, spindle sanded down. So we're gonna sand that smooth, get that all cleaned up, that way the seal is a nice smooth spot to actually seal. On your new hub or anytime you replace your bearings, make sure you, or you clean them out. Uh, make sure you repack your bearings as well. Uh, that way you be sure it got plenty of grease straight off. And then your seal, you want to make sure uh, is going in straight. Uh, and you'll want to get it flushed down. I don't have this one in yet. Now here it is, pressed in. What I did is use the two by four uh, until it uh, went flush. This way it puts even pressure across it. Just use a rubber mallet or something. But it brings it all the way flat and puts your seal all the way in. And now here we got the hub fully secured on here you want to be careful as you put the seal on uh, not to tear it up uh, but it's in then I got the front the outer bearing uh, packed and placed in and getting ready to put the washer which holds that in and then the castle nut and cutter pin and then we'll get the bearing buddy back. I now have the castle nut tightened down. Uh, a good method with that is spinning the hub as you go, as you tighten it down and you want it to be around 50 foot pounds. Uh, so then once you've reached a point where this is starting to tighten up, the bearings haven't really rolled in yet, plus the weight of the tire will help. Uh, but uh, once they start to tighten up some to where he doesn't really want to move, you want to back it off to the next slot that the hole is going to be uh, lining up with so you can put your cotter pin in. Uh, and that will help the uh, washer push against it without putting too much pressure. But it will keep them from sliding back and forth. So I went ahead and got the bunk boards fitted, or the side guides fitted. Uh, I ended up going with two by sixes here. Uh, I'm gonna put new two by sixes there, and then the outside ones are gonna end up two by fours, uh, as they're just stabilizers. But hard at work on these, and uh, we're gonna get these side guides looking nice. So I used a cardboard cutout for the fender liners, and I'm getting ready to cut out the boards, and then we'll start getting those carpeted. Now that I got the wheels all finished, our uh, next goal is going to be the runway lights I'm gonna install. Uh, they're gonna go along the top edge here, you will see, and cut around on both sides going through there.
So we have the first side in. The other side's gonna be identical to it. Hooked up right along this side. It's gonna go all the way up to the jack mount. I now have both sides completed. And I also went over it with a solid bead of silicone over the top. I also have ordered some clips uh, that are one side screw in. So I'll screw those in from the bottom and that'll just help hold them in place in case the silicone ever rips loose. But I'll have about 15 on each side going down, holding those all together. Next up. Next up, we're gonna work on the trailer underglow lights. Uh, this is just the foam pad liner. I'm using that as a template uh, to drill out my holes. I'm gonna have three on each side. So, pretty much one right about there, one just behind, and then one just before the bracket right there. As you can see, I got all the lights installed right here. And the same thing on the other side. Uh, Got to get that roller replaced. Uh, I'm going to be installing another roller on a bracket right here, just like I did on the last trailer, uh, just to make sure I'm not worrying about that beam right there. And I'm working on getting the bunks removed so we can start getting these placed. Here I got the bunks, middle bunks. These are the eight foot ones on my trailer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these started. I already marked off exactly where I'm wanting my holes at for the bolts. Uh, and got it lined up for distance and everything. And we're gonna go ahead and get those drilled out and then we'll start getting the bunks carpeted. Now the outside bottom bunks here, uh, I'm just gonna focus on getting the brackets off. Uh, these I'm not gonna have installed yet as these are just stabilizers. Uh, I need to figure out exactly how the bracket's gonna line up on the trailer compared to my boat anyway. But these are my main ones. I'm getting these drilled out uh, so I can go ahead and get them mounted. I got six brackets ready to go. I now have the brackets all mounted. Like I said, the side ones are stabilizers. I will get those installed later. Uh, most of the weight's gonna be on the keel. So I wanna make sure these were done. Uh, next is carpet. We'll get these carpeted up. I'll show you how. I've already completed uh, one of the long bunks. Uh, I'm getting ready to lay this one down. Uh, what I did is the side that's getting put against the carpet uh, or against the hole is getting carpet glue, exterior carpet glue, uh, and it helps just keep the carpet from moving and sliding on the board, which causes it to wear. And then these are the fender ones. Getting ready to go ahead and lay those two. I now have the length of the boards cut back. Uh, I'm going to show you a trick with this real quick as well. So what you want to do is cut this back right here and cut this piece off uh, kind of at a little bit of a downward angle. Uh, because you're gonna bring these two panels inward, do a quick staple in the middle, fold this piece over, and then do some staples here, and it completely covers the corners. So here's what you end up with. Like I said, you put this here, put this here, that takes care of your side edges, and then put a quick staple right there. 
like so. Then you're gonna take this and fold it over just like this. And just like that, it's all stapled, covered. You got your corners covered. And you're all set. Here's one of the panels for the fender uh, in process. Now I've got a, uh, a flap cut going around the edge about every inch or so. And basically you just fold it up, staple it, fold the next one, staple it, and they'll overlap each other and make the curve. Here's a look at my safety chains. I got these really big ones. Ended up having to use a uh, 7 16 bolt to run through to hold them on. But nice hefty safety chains, especially with this being a heavier duty trailer. I want to make sure that it's just up to the task of the trailer. Little update on the spare tire carrier. I bought these. They are half inch by 20 bolts. You have no idea how hard these are to find. Uh, but I finally found them. Uh, so that way I could actually get the solid studs. I also used a stud installation tool to get these tightened up and they are a tad larger than the bolts that come with, so they lock in super tight. Pretty much just like press in studs. So now that's permanently locked, I don't have to worry about clips to hold these on. And I can put my regular lug nuts on these as well. Here's a quick look at the spare. Now I've got the actual studs that I need on there. I'm gonna put the lug nuts on. And this is an extra center cap I had just to make it look good. It has the different center caps actually on there. Here's a look at the side bunks. Uh, something I did, I grooved it out for an LED strip on both of them. And I have it cut off right here near the back. Uh, so that way it doesn't shine as much light off the back of the boat or onto the back of the boat. Uh, goes all the way up though, so it shines forward. Uh, but we're gonna get these painted so we can get them all ready for the clear bunk covers. I now have the side bunks mounted up. There we are. Uh, they just need to be wired in. Pretty much everything else about ready. Like I said, I'm gonna do these other side bunks uh, later after I got the boat on there because I gotta make sure I have them in a good position. But I got these center bunks all set up. I got the rollers mounted up there. That front one, I'm going to slide it forward uh, and figure out where it needs to be once the boat's on here. But otherwise, she is pretty much ready for wiring. So I had to get a new winch post, uh, as you can see, uh, I've already cut it down to the height that I want, but this ends up sitting way too high. Uh, I was able to get the other boat trailer over next to it uh, the other day, and this is just sitting way too high. So I went to switch to a vertical post, uh, so that way this sits more forward. And now here is the completed winch. Uh, I got it all painted. Uh, nice rugged support there for it and it sticks out pretty far. And a lot lower as well. And then I can go lower if needed. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and knock out the wiring. Uh, last major part of this trailer. I uh, still got to just slight customized to that roller. Uh, I need to raise it and uh, kind of cut the bracket out just a bit. Uh, it's sitting a little low, 
but otherwise it's just wiring so i got 14 gauge trailer wire uh it's just the four wire sets so some some of the wires i'll be using the wrong color on but got a nice size spool of that all my wiring tools waterproof butt connectors uh waterproof uh eyelets got uh some black wire loom uh just to hide any of the wires that are that have to travel just a little bit and then we got heat shrink tubing should i need any of it i've got about half the wiring done so far uh i still got to put in the clips to help hold the strip on but i will get to that uh right now i've got all the lights on this side done all the marker lights and the inside lights uh, getting ready to do a test on it show you how it looks uh, here's a look at it like i said i haven't gotten that side done just the brake light on that side But as you can see, we've got three lights down here. Those are my underglow lights that'll be under the boat. And then we have the uh, side guide that has an LED strip in it. And here's a look at the completed trailer. I got all the lights installed. All the wiring is complete. Uh, like I said, those last two bunks right there are going to be done after I have the boat on. And all the tail lights. And of course, like before, switches over to the runway lights for docking and loading. I now have the winch repositioned uh, to adjust for the boat. I had to relocate the jack stand, so I got it mounted up over here uh, on one of the side poles. And then I still have to get it in the bunks on the st for the stabilizers and get those finished up. But she is finally on the trailer. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe as well. Get some future notifications on my videos. Uh, I do have some future plans with this. A new outboard, uh, which I'll be rebuilding. Uh, I got to finish the stabilizer bunks. Uh, I'm just skipping that on this video. Uh, and then I got some fishing videos that are going to be coming out too. So, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.